The mill assembly is now complete. We have been through the pre-startup checklist, which involves adding oil and gas to the engine, getting the air filter attached. We've been through, we've checked the blade tension, the blade tracking, the spacing of the guides, all those other things that you have to do before uh, you run the sawmill for the first time. We think we've done them. Uh, we've got our first log on here. First so log is ready to go. This is our first ever log on the sawmill. It's a spruce. Uh, we've cut it to just over eight feet long. This log originally was uh, just over 17 feet long, actually, uh, but we've cut it down to eight foot four uh, just to make our lives a little bit easier on this first one, just so we're not trying to max out kind of the length of this. It was also and, uh, a little bit bowed. There was a little bit of a bow in it as well. Yeah, so we've sort of um, got rid of that. Really, these first few logs are just going to be us trying the sawmill. Um, our goal, if we can get something useful out of these first few logs, will just be a couple of cants. And a cant, if you haven't heard that word before, is basically a square piece of lumber uh, or a rectangular piece of lumber. In our case, we need some cants, ideally some 4x4s that we'll use as um, kind of rails that we can put everything down on and put the stickers on top of those stickers being much smaller pieces to separate the uh the, the cut lumber to yeah to, to pile on the to create lumber. a pile but for now we're just going to see if we can cut this down into a, a square rather than a circle is kind of the idea but yeah we haven't even started the engine yet but so there's oil in there there's gas in there i think we're ready to go i'm very very excited for finally get to this step after we ordered the sawmill like three months ago or something, yeah, and now we more, have yeah. it here, and we have assembled it, and it's ready for the first log. Yeah, you fingers ready? crossed. You ready? I'm ready. So behind me here, you can see the first few boards that we milled. Uh, we've got a four by four and two two by fours. These are actual dimension, not nominal. I'm pretty pleased with our first pass. It, uh, it's taken us a little while just to figure out how to get all the measurements correct and things. Uh, and I'm sure that's something we'll get far quicker with, uh, with some experience. This is obviously green lumber. It's not dry yet. And that's kind of the next phase in our operation is to start stacking these so they can dry. But before we do that, we're going to do a little uh, side project and use these 2x4s and a 1x6, which we're going to mill now, 
and we're going to see if we can make a quick sawhorse. That's kind of our project next. Is an overhang on your end? Yep. Okay, let's do that one. Equal overhang, about 50-50. Yep, that's good about. Two, just move the whole assembly over there. We'll just stand on here and do it a bit easier. And we have our first saw bug. Yeah, it's rough no, and ready. Saw, is it saw horse? Saw horse, yeah. So I sketched this up in SketchUp, which is some software on uh, on the computer. Uh, I actually did it for nominal lumber rather than this is actual lumber that we mill today. Um, and I didn't bother adjusting, so it's actually about a half inch long at the ends. So it's easy to update the model. I just I forgot before we started building. But yeah, this is really sturdy. No problems taking my weight whatsoever. This thing is. It's built strong. So yeah, hopefully we'll build a couple more of these as we go and we have some scraps and things. 
and uh, some screws, some lumber. And we, we've just turned a spruce log. Round log into, into this. That. I'm pretty happy with that. I think that is really exciting to be able to just take a round log. Well, first of all, cut it. Yeah, a tree. We took a, a tree, tree. A tree. Uh, cut it and then milled it. And now we built something out of it. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty cool. That's pretty incredible. It's not, it's not complex, this is uh, what we've built, but it feels really satisfying to have gone from Baby a steps. tree to a piece of furniture, a tool, <laughs> tool. workshop furniture. Yeah. First, hopefully, of many things we build with our trees. And baby steps, starting very small <laughs> until we're gonna get to a house. Yes. I'm really proud that we've made a thing from a log. That, to me, proves, as simple as it is, that we can build a house. We can... I don't know about build a house. I don't think it proves we can build a house, <laughs> but just this simple step of going from a tree, felling that tree, and it's, I think it's one of the ones I felled, to cutting it into logs, to throwing it on the mill, to milling the lumber, it's green, it's gonna warp and twist a bit, but that's okay. And then turning it into a saw, uh, uh, a saw horse of a design that I adapted from what I found online, but I sketched it up on, yeah. on the computer and then turning it into reality. But also that, that step good. of you looked at the designs, decided what size one by six or two by four we need, and then we went on the mill and milled exact that size exactly. that we needed. Exactly, I, this is, it, it may only look like a tiny step, but it feels huge. So with this, we'll call it a day today. Yeah, it's been a good day. We've been taking nice and slow, finishing off the assembly of the sawmill. But from today, when we turned up, we hadn't finished the assembly to now we have the sawmill up and running. We've milled our first two logs yep. and built this sawhorse. So that feels pretty darn good. Mm -hmm.